Hey everyone, ever find yourself intrigued by how your computer can multitask so effortlessly, or how the game you're hooked on manages a thousands of real-time interactions without a hitch? The answer lies at the core of computing, the fascinating world of processes and threads. Today, we're peeling back the layers of this complex concept, giving you a front row seat to the inner workings of computer science. Whether you're an aspiring coder, a gamer, or simply curious mind fascinated by the marvels of computing, this is a journey you won't want to miss. So buckle up, get comfortable, and let's dive into the captivating realm of processes and threads. To kick off our journey, let's demystify what a process is. Visualize a process as a program in action. It's not just the program code often refers to as the text station. A process is a complex entity that encompasses the current activity in an invited program culture along with the associated variables, context, and system resources. One key element of a process that often flies under the radar is the role of the CPU registers. The small source areas in the CPU hold data that the processor is currently manipulating. Each process has its own set of register values saved and restored when switching between processes. This is why, even if the process is interrupted, it can later resume from exactly where it left off, thanks to the saved register values. A process contains several components, the text section, the stack, the heap, and the data section. Each process operates within its own memory space, keeping these sections exclusive from those of other processes. The text section contains the actual program code. The stack stores temporary data like function parameters, return addresses, and local variables. The heap is used for dynamically memory allocation, and the data section stores global and static variables. Let's turn our attention to threads. A thread is like a mini process, the smallest unit of execution that a processor can handle. When a process needs to perform multiple tasks concurrently, it splits itself into the smaller threads. All threads within a process share the same memory and resources, making them siblings within the large process family. Threads are not just subsets of a process, they have their own unique properties. For instance, each thread has its own set of registers just like a process, allowing it to maintain its own execution state. But unlike processes, threads within the same process can directly interact with each other, sharing data and resources through their shared memory space. This is a double-edged sword though, because while it enables fast and efficient communication, it also means that a hiccup in one thread can impact all its siblings. This brings us to one of the pivotal differences between processes and threads. Processes run in separate memory spaces, making them independent entities. On the other hand, threads function within the shared memory space of their parent process. The shared environment allows threads to communicate and share resources quickly. But it also implies that a glitch in one thread can disrupt all other threads within the same process. So why does all of this matter? Well, when it comes to programming, especially in multi or and multiprocessor environments, understanding processes and threads is just absolutely critical. It's like knowing the nuts and bolts of a machine you're operating. Whether you're developing a sophisticated video game or a powerful system application, this knowledge can help you write code that's not just functional, but efficient, effective too. Then we've covered the basics. Let's look at the process and threads in action. Processes, as we've discussed, are independent entities work in separate memory spaces. This isolation makes them secure, and error in one process doesn't affect others. However, this independence comes with a cost. Switching between processes or context switching involves saving and loading register values and updating memory management structures, which can be time-consuming. Threads, on the other hand, are lighter and more nimble. They share memory, allowing for fast interaction and resource sharing. However, they require careful coordination to avoid conflicts or race conditions. This is where synchronization techniques such as mutexes and semaphores come into play. These mechanisms ensure that multiple threads can access shared resources without stepping on each other's toes. In multi-core and in multi-processor systems, understanding the interplay between processes and threads becomes even more important. Such systems can run multiple threads or processes truly simultaneously, each on a different core or processor. Here, multi-threading can offer significant performance benefits, as threads from the same process can share data without needing to use slower inter-process communication mechanisms. And with that, we wrap up our exploration of processes and threads. This understanding forms a cornerstone of computing and software development. It's like having a roadmap to navigate the labyrinths of program execution. 
and you can master the enhanced coding. If this video lit up the bulb of knowledge for you, do hit the like button, share it with others, and subscribe for more enlightened tech content. Stay curious, keep learning, until next time, happy coding!